Hey friend, welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday. In these videos, I'm trying to break down little tips that will save you a ton of headaches. I find that it's so often the little tips, these little two minute kind of tips, that end up being the ones that really cause me huge headaches. So yeah, you're gonna get used to seeing this outfit because I'm shooting three Two Minute Tuesdays today. And the first is how to auto save in DaVinci Resolve. This should apply to any software, but I know that DaVinci Resolve has one key feature that just saves my life, and it has on multiple occasions rescued me from some really huge frustrations. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive in to the computer, and I will show you how I turn on this setting and how I avoid huge headaches. So let's go ahead and go there. All right, so now we have DaVinci Resolve open and I'm just going to click Command, comma, and if you are on a Windows computer, you're just gonna to go to the preferences of DaVinci Resolve and all that you're gonna do is you're gonna click on User, you're gonna to go to Project Save and Load, you're gonna turn on Live Save, and you're going to turn on Project Backups, and then you're going to make sure that your project backups are as frequent as they can be while saving space. Um, and you can limit them to make sure that you're not keeping too many backups. So uh, I have this set at five and five because I have the room for it, but you can set it to uh, you know, two and two if you want, and it will just start pushing the backups out as you get new ones in. So that's this Two Minute Tuesday tip. It is that easy. Just start auto-saving DaVinci Resolve. Let DaVinci do the work for you instead of having to remember to save all the time. You should still make a habit out of it. Um, I click Command S every time I make an edit. And DaVinci shows you. I I'm actually going to include that. Let me cut back now. If you make a change here inside of DaVinci, it will show you that it has been edited without having been saved. So if I go and I save that, and then I move, it shows you that there is an edit that has been made without being saved. And it'll eventually turn yellow, and then it will turn red, and it wants to show you, you need to make sure that you're saving often. So use that tool. Okay, now that's really it for this Two Minute Tuesday. Use that autosave feature and make sure that you're listening to DaVinci and paying attention. If you see that edited button tab thing turn yellow, you need to save. So that's it for this one. This is gonna be a huge help to you, I'm sure. It's really, really been a help to me and, and prevented me from a lot of headaches. I know that it crashes sometimes, DaVinci is not perfect, and when it crashes, I don't even flinch anymore because I know that it will always have the most recent information and edits saved. So that's it for this Two Minute Tuesday. I'll see you in the next video, friends.